and where did I stop is here so I'll just gonna go now a little bit with the counter or I do apologize if my pronunciation is not perfect and some words you don't pronounce right but um, I do my best um, yeah so we'll go with this um, line counter line and um, trying again to create where the way the hair going if you look at the picture you see um, the direction that's what we're doing with you so and then again I'm talking about talking about the how do we measure um, so I think this is kind of that that uh, the duck duck uh, I, t I move myself a bit further away from the um, painting when I do this and then I just um, look at the reference, look at the picture and um, by measuring the distance in between certain points, just the eyesight really, I am trying to work this out too because if we're looking at the nose of this mere card underneath a bit to the right we've got this one so i've done a bit wrong but we can move it a bit to the right and then is that the chest that's going towards here and that will be just in here so we can just give it a bit of a smudge don't worry about this that's that's like you know the beauty of pastel we've done this just don't go too harsh you took the smudge uh, this um, tool blending tool and smudge it nicely so it just will give you under layer of the dark so and then we will go on the top of this one so and this one as well this one going towards here um, now we can take the lighter color and just um, go this way um, just like this and um, like this uh, boop. right so the darker so again if I'll have a look so this line, the darker line, and the nose. Here yeah, I compare the nose, the darker line, and I draw this line with um, according the way it looks. If I look at the nose and this line on the picture, what I'm trying to say, so I can see where this line in compared to his nose and that's how I draw it so what I'm doing now is well I'm mixing colors like straight away here so I draw with the hot pastel one color then I took another color on the top because I thought that's the one which is missing as for the colors you keep in like you know mixing them keep in trying them they mix lovely right in the paper with a blending tool you've done few strokes with one pencil few strokes with another one and then you mix them but don't just go like you know mad and mixing it all together unless you need to do it okay so where was I was a little bit of a interrupted by the phone call but um, we'll just uh, carry on getting the lines looking at the reference trying to get the right direction for the fur and um, yeah keep on using smudging tool blending tool not smudging it's a blending tool and uh, sometimes like for example if we look so we decided this one is darker area, it's coming up in here and there's a bit of a darker area in here as well but then if I will make smudges like this with a hot pastel 
I'm trying to achieve I'll show you so and then we're just gonna smudge it I use the side of this soft kind of blending paper tool and by creating under layer like this when I will take A uh, pastel, soft pastel, uh, hard pastel, and go on the top of this. It straight away will create a depth that the lighter one here they are on the top. So it's. Um, very good way to show that the darker hair is underneath what is actually looks like and the top is more lighter when you created the dark area it's just because this um, paper takes such a nicely so nicely all the layers of the colors so don't be as I said don't be afraid to use lots of colors but they all kind of have to be the right tone but um, so for example I see on this one as well I see a light blue color as well so and go with light blue, the one the sunny side. And if I will put some darker one in here as well with the soft pastel. You remember in the beginning I said to you if you don't have a if you don't have a uh, pan pastel, you can use the pastel stick. Uh, hot pastel, soft pastel. Um, anything like kind of a drier ones because some of the soft pastels has got almost like a you know thicker texture oilier so I'd suggest to use the drier one so we're going on the top in here we've done a darker and then just go on the top at the moment it's still far away from the finished so what I am doing here is just trying to create the look which will, you know, make me happy. And I think, yeah, they're all right. So that, that looks like I want it to look approximately. And when I've done this one, I can uh, start working towards more detailed look. So here I'm using the black again to give it a bit more depth and then again I'm taking this brown and I think I could do some more color in here right and then if we'll have a look at his so here for example we're gonna do his pour and um, if I compare this bit on the photo to his pour where it's bent that's how I work. So I kind of create this triangle, you see? And then I'm trying to make sure mine looks like triangle as well. So again, once again, to, to make sure that it looks natural and in the right position. Don't just look at the paw, for example, when you draw it. Always look on the other, you know, area which is you can compare the pore, the position of the pore with. So don't just, um, uh, yeah, don't just look at the, at the one detail, always compare it. So here again, um, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to use another tool. And that tool is uh, another blending tool with it like with the sponges so you can put the clean sponges and whatever so so it's it's kind of similar to this similar to this uh, but it's different it's got um, 
bigger handle and I'm trying to change the sponge on it so I'll go the clean and I'll show you what does do so we can do the bigger area straight away but be prepared with this tool it does take color away some of the colors so sometimes if you want to keep a bit more color just press it in with your fingers first but be careful with the um, Fisher 400 don't hurt your fingers my problems was were when I was using most of the time Fisher 400 <laughs> it was with my phone to be honest because um, it would always kill my um, fingerprints <laughs> my phone never recognized me and now my new phone is um, good because the fingerprints it's doing from the left hand at the back of the phone not the right one right so now again we're drawing this part so what we're doing I'm looking at this part of his tummy and comparing it for example towards this line and uh, towards his eye even so it's it's kind of kind of here I think uh, uh, my but I didn't position him perfectly it's my honest answer but at least at least a little bit so in this tutorial we're not like trying to create a perfect portrait and perfect um, kind of uh, likeness because it's just a mere card it's it's um, not a portrait but we want to make it look natural we don't want to make it a uh, look funny so now I'm gonna you know it's typically I, I work <laughs> with different parts so now I'm gonna jump to the ears because I really want him to to have like you know his head finished and ears so I definitely can see that um, with his head uh, we need to get wider so I am just going to Oh, that's all right so um just gently go a bit more here keep on looking at the reference i put on a um, description below the reference for this picture so you can just download it on a computer So I'm trying to do gently now so uh, another thing I keep in doing I noticed and it does help me so I keep in like uh, narrow my eyes when I'm trying to make sure that I manage to get the right position I'm uh, looking at the photo looking at my picture but I don't know why but it seems like when I narrow my eyes and look through the narrow kind of look it's a bit blur the view not as sharp and I could see better if I manage to get it right but the more you draw the easier it will be for you to copy it right right okay uh, Fisher 400 would quickly eat up your pencil so you have to be prepared you need to have your sharpener and um, get ready to sharpen your pencils so what I'm using is uh, this for pencils but if you're too young to use it I'd suggest you use some sharpeners like this um, or ask maybe somebody adult to do your pencils with um, with this so what I'm gonna do here so I've done a bit of a outline for the ears I'm gonna get them smudged 
a bit with a soft blending tool, this paper tool. And uh, do it a bit darker, go on the top a bit darker because I will be drawing the hair which are going over the ears. I'm not going to use the blending tool here because I want to keep it a bit, you know, in a darker look. And his lovely little hair, they are going like this. So we, that's why we had to create this dark first. And when we're going on, on the top of dark, it's going to be like this. Right. Um, yep, kind of. I think. How are you doing? I hope you are managing to do a good job. And your Mia card looks good. Of what I was going to do is just to go again with the blending tool smudge the areas which are a bit rough and see again the shading where I've done mistakes. This one will go here nicely and this one here. Then I noticed this beauty has got like kind of color going down to his ear here and color down to his ear in this side and I'm using a couple of colors here because I used one the orangey and it seems a bit too light so then I'm just gonna go from here so yes, for example if I see if my paper is quite light and I want to show the lighter line going at the top of him so I'm gonna just do the outline and the reason I do that because I'm gonna do to go light on the top of it you know what I mean because if I'd go light now I would be able to it would be noticed because my paper is light well unless you have created the background. Um, well, with this one, I'm not going to do background. What do you think? Or should we? Well, let's do it without the background for now. So that's why I've done a bit of an outline. And I go. You see what I mean? Now, when we've got a bit of outline, I can go close to it with a lighter color. And... Um, we still can see the mere card clearly. So while if I wouldn't do that outline, my lighter color would be completely blended with the background. So we wouldn't be able to see. So that's the mere card. Do you think it's that the one from the advert so a little 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 well see how you feel I'm gonna be working on it and maybe posting a couple of videos um, a day I've got the commissions to do and um, some other work but it's up to you how much time do you want to spend doing this. You don't have to do it even with me. I mean, you can do it on your own. But just keep in following reference. Or you can do it with me because maybe I could help you with some advice. 
Um, right, let's have a look on the news. This is a chin area, a very interesting area where we have to create this um, volume without actually any proper lines. This is where, again, this narrow eye look. <laughs> I don't know how to, to say it, but when you kind of, you know, narrow your eyes and it's easier to see the light and the dark, where the light, where the dark is going. And again, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now here, uh, first of all, I'm gonna smudge the sides the later on we're gonna do this little hair which are going around his lovely ears but at the moment I'm gonna do the outline like this again so we can add some light color to it and we still can see it right so his mouth well, like say mine is a bit more smiling I'm gonna try to make him a bit grumpy but well mm, not sure where it works whenever you like you know not happy with the stroke you've done you always can correct it um, where is the blending tool or some with the other pencil we're gonna work on the details later so do not worry this part is far away from ready I do a bit every time it's just like you know it's just the way I work I like to work with all the like you know look straight away so I see whether I manage to get the right look I see, for example, whether it looks like me a card or is it looking like a an elephant. So this one looks like me a card, I think. Um, I think in this area I can see some bluish color, believe it or not. And uh, for this one, I'm going to use a bit of a blue. Um, it's shaded area. I think I, put, I can see some blue in here. You'll be surprised how many colors you can see when you'll get used to, you know, looking at it through this way. And uh, that's it. That's it. Right. I would say you definitely don't have to follow all the colors I do you just do what you feel is right um, it's just maybe like working together with me will help you a bit with some kind of advices but hmm, maybe not all right, I think I just sometimes saying something just because I'm saying something. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm thinking if I will, oh, I will put those first. I'm gonna put the hair, even though on the picture those hairs are quite light you can see it I will do it this way because again what's happening on our light picture is we're all gonna, gonna go with the light color but we'll not see it um, this hair you don't have to be precise oh no no you just um, just have a feel like you know just look at the picture see a little bit of you know the direction they go but they don't have to be exactly like on this Mia card I mean that's not our intention we're just enjoying 
we're just drawing the lovely, cutie, sweetie, hairy nail pad. Anyway, uh, so when I've done the darker one, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go with this one to smudge it. I don't want them to have this um, feel of um, um, a rough, rough look, especially because you will see now I am going to go on the top with the light color. And for this reason, I wanted to take another little hard pastel and just go. You see what I mean? I'm just gonna go on the top and in spite of making them dark initially that will look like they are light. And if you see this light one, they are mostly on the outline of the mirror card. For example here. It's going like this. Can you see this line? The light line, and then there's a bit more light here, and I believe there's a nice blue color on this side as well, so which I'm gonna add in a minute, and somewhere here, and then here. Right, so what I'm going to do now is um, use this one and try to give the colour to his paw. And this one, hmm, maybe a bit too dark, but never mind, we're going to smudge it. So I'm going to use this tool now because it's quite, you see the lovely booms? and you smudged it and here I'm going to rub this one in first you remember what I said if you want a color to be a bit stay a bit more obvious just um, rub this in first with your fingers uh, be prepared to lose your fingerprints that's what I always have with this paper anyway um, so in here I'm going to add a bit more color because I need to make a, it's clearly obvious the line. So this line, so again we're going, we need this triangle and that's the line. I'm going to do it like this. Right, so he's like little wrist, and uh, here's the hair, the way the hair will be going, and on this side, I think I can use. Well then here we need to make a darker line definitely because it's almost black. I'm actually going to use black here and just go like this. Sometimes I'd use like oh, the side of my uh, pastel stick and then because I want this color to stay in a bit better on the paper before I'm going to use the blending tool I put it a bit with my fingers make sure that it's gone in a bit more because if I would start using smudging straight away after the pastel stick it would take off quite a lot of it so and we can do straight away the brownish color which is uh, we have to create here transition I mean um, it doesn't matter what really I'm using I'm using something what is handy if it is if it is the right color but it's all the same whether pencils whether 
hot pasta sticks. I'm just um, need to get a bit um, more color in here. And um, yeah, so we'll just imagine this a bit more. And now, what I want to do is to complete his arm in here. So, if you look at the photo reference again, um, that's the way. fur on his arm going. You see how easy it is. We've done this area dark and we went to do this and now this on a darker area. You see somewhere it's more of feel of a shorter hair and somewhere is the longer hair so you have to keep in mind this as well so the, the different look you're creating with the different lengths of the stroke um, I'm just looking for another Color. I almost feel like this is a little bit of orange here, so that's why I decided to add a little bit of a orangey color. And then we need some dark brown. Well, the only dark brown which is handy is a pencil. That's why I'm using pencil.